let's see this question from gate 2022 forenoon session so it says consider a simply supported beam pq as shown in the figure a truck having 100 kilonewton on the front axle and 200 kilonewton on the rear axle moves from left to right the spacing between the axles is 3 meter the maximum bending moment at point r is so this is the beam pq and this point here is r that is given and this truck is moving on this beam so here we have the front load front axle load of 100 kilonewton and rear axle load 200 kilonewton and we have the distance between the axles as 3 meter so we need to find when this truck passes through this beam what is the maximum bending moment at this point r so we need to draw ild first of all for moment and to do that we will be applying a unit rotation at this point r so we will have the resulting ild which is which is just a basic ild for a beam simply supported beam so this will be the ild here we have this point p q and at r we have the highest moment now this truck is passing here so this distance here from left is 1 meter and between r q it is 4 meter so this is 4 meter here now when this truck passes so we'll have two instances in the first one we will have 100 kilo newton load on this point r and 200 kilo newton load on the rear axle so the distance between these axles is 3 meter now you see in this configuration this 200 kilo newton load it will be outside the beam itself because this distance here is 3 meter whereas between p and r the distance is just 1 meter so in this configuration we will not get the maximum now in the second part the truck would have moved further so we will have 100 kilo newton load somewhere here whereas the 200 kilo newton load will be at the point r this will be the co second configuration and between these two cases this is the one that will give the maximum bending moment at r so then we just have to find out the ordinate of this ild at point r and at this location which is one meter from support q so that is easy so in this triangle we know here we gave a total rotation of theta is equal to one and from the basic geometry we know this these angles theta one and theta two if we call then these theta 1 plus theta 2 will also be equal to 1 and for small angles we just write 10 theta as theta so we can write let's say this ordinate here is y so y upon 1 plus y upon 4 that is the value of theta 1 y upon 1 is theta 1 and y upon 4 is theta 2 so theta 1 plus theta 2 is equal to 1 so from here we have 5 y upon 4 is equal to 1 or y is equal to 4 upon 5 now once we know this y we can also find out the ordinate at this point which is 1 meter from the support q let's call it y dash so applying the logic of similar triangles we can say y upon 4 will be equal to y dash upon 1 so here we'll have 4 upon 5 upon 4 and y dash we need to find out so y dash is equal to 1 upon 5 now we know both y and y dash and we can write the bending moment so bending moment it will be equal to bending moment at r it will be 200 times 4 upon 5 so these ordinates are showing the bending moment when a unit moment is applied at this point r but in real case we have different loads so that we can just find out by multiplying these values so 200 times 4 upon 5 plus 100 times 1 upon 5 
सो दिस विल गिव अस 160 प्लस 20 और 180 किलो न्यूटन मीटर एज द रिक्वायर्ड वैल्यू ऑफ बेंडिंग मोमेंट एट आर सो दैट इज द रिक्वायर्ड आंसर हियर नाउ व्हाट इफ इन दिस क्वेश्चन दे हैड आस्क्ड द एब्सोल्यूट maximum bending moment so that would be a different case so for absolute maximum bending moment these loads either of these loads can produce absolute maximum bending moment but they should be placed in such a way that if we have this beam then this center point of the beam which will be at 2.5 meter it should be placed in such a way that this center point of the beam is equidistant from one of the loads and this resultant load fr so let's say this 200 kN load is producing the absolute maximum bending moment so first of all we'll need to find the location of this resultant force so that we can do with a simple formula of centroid so we'll have let's say we are measuring from this location of 200 kN so 200 times 0 plus the location of 100 kN load so that is 3 times 100 and divided by the total load or the resultant load that is 300 kN so we find out x bar as 1 meter which means that the resultant force is acting here at 1 meter distance now once we have that to find out absolute maximum bending moment we'll need to place this load in such a way that the center of the beam is equally divided between the resultant load and the 200 kN so basically this distance here will be 0.5 meter and this will also be 0.5 so we do not know which load produces the max absolute maximum bending moment in this case so we actually need to try out with both the loads but here i will just do with 200 kN load because i have solved and seen that it is coming max absolute maximum under 200 kN load you can try with the other load also so here basically we'll have the configuration in this manner so we have this beam and the center of the beam is at 2.5 meter so we'll place this 200 kN load here and resultant will be at this point fr this is 200 kN and we have the 100 kN load so this distance here total distance is 1 meter and from the center of the beam the 200 kN is at 0.5 meter and on the right side this fr is also at 0.5 meter so basically if we see the total length then this 100 kN load will come on the right support that is point q because if this distance from center is 0.5 meter then the remaining distance will be 2.5 meter and we know the distance between both the wheels is 3 meter so if this distance here is 0.5 then the remaining is here 2.5 so we just need to find out the bending moment for this case where only one load is actually coming on the beam so this is the situation so under this 200 kN load this distance here is 2 meter and the remaining distance is 3 meter so here we are placing 200 kN load and the next load is coming at the support so that will not produce any moment so we just need to find out this ordinate y so we can say y upon 2 plus y upon 3 is equal to 1 so we have y as 6 by 5 so the absolute maximum bending moment will be equal to 6 by 5 times 200 and that is 240 kN meter so which is definitely higher than what we had found in the previous case which was 180 kN meter so you can understand the difference between 
maximum bending moment at a given point and absolute maximum bending moment so maximum bending moment occurs for the point that they are asking for or at whatever point we want to find out but absolute maximum bending moment means that anywhere on this beam anywhere on this beam where we will get the maximum bending moment so that will be absolute maximum 